Okay. Nobody cares. We're going to start with that mind blowing declaration. Nobody cares what you do. It doesn't really matter. And when I say that, everyone says, no, everyone cares. Look at the state of the world. Look at everything that's going on. It shows how much people care. But those are kind of two different things. We talked a little bit before about the human aspect versus the love of humanity. And a lot of things that are going on now are showing people's love of humanity. I don't things that were acceptable or no longer acceptable, things that were tolerated or no longer tolerated, things that were on this end of the spectrum are now on this end of the spectrum, and eventually they'll arrest in the middle. It's kind of like in our own personal journey, if we always procrastinated, you'll, you'll go completely the other way. But eventually you'll level back out and go in the middle. And that's a lot of what the collective is going through. So when I say nobody cares, I don't mean that so much in the sense that, hey, nobody cares about each other. But in a way it's true because the human doesn't care about each other. Our souls care about each other, but it's kind of from a different place. Our souls can see someone we might care very much about going through a very hard time but we know on a soul level that they're supposed to because they chose that and that's what's going to help them get to their next stage of evolution, their next stage of higher consciousness, and they have to go through that. Sometimes you have to watch a train wreck and know the train's going to wreck, but you have to allow the wreck because that's what we're supposed to do. That is what on a soul level is respectful for us to do. So when I say nobody cares, I'm talking about, I'm talking about multiple, I'm talking about obviously everything I've just said, but if the human doesn't care about other humans, human cares about itself. So when we go off and do our journeys and we go off and do what feels aligned for us and we go off and do some wild and crazy stuff that no one understands who's operating in their human programming. We don't even understand what we're doing because our human wants to get involved in it. It doesn't make any sense to us. So what are we doing? We don't know. None of it makes any sense, but we're doing it anyway. Nobody really cares. And a lot of people found a lot of that out during a lot of these shifts we've had in 2020 is that people don't really care about what you're doing. People are too concerned about what they're doing. So nobody really cares because a human doesn't even have the depth to care. A human is trying to keep itself alive. That's what our human aspect does. That's its job. It doesn't have the depth to care about somebody else. It's too concerned about caring about itself and caring about its own survival. It doesn't have the capacity to care about anything else. So why do we get so wrapped up on every decision we make and what someone else is going to think? Why do we get so wrapped up in our judgment of things? Because we're, we're in our human. We actually worry about what other people think and nobody cares. Trust me on that one. I made a lot of whack decisions the past, I don't know, five years. Nobody really cares. No one pays any attention. Everyone's doing their thing. Everyone's doing their journey. Everyone's doing what they're supposed to do. It's okay that they don't care. So remember that when you are really thinking about choices you want to make, Choices that feel soul aligned, choices that bring you peace, choices that make you excited, choices that make you want to get up every day and do it because you're so excited about doing it. Remember that other people aren't going to care what you do. It's our judgment that holds us back. We are the reason we don't do things. There is no one else to blame. We're not victims to it. We're the reason. 
And remember, on a soul, our soul understands what we're doing and our soul understands what other souls are doing. It's really not our business. Now, we've seen a lot of people going around and around now with a lot of the, um, a lot of judgment clearing in the collective. Everyone's judging what everyone's doing and everyone wants to, to you know, to speak out and about what's going on. And, and the collectives are kind of, if you're in those collectives, you're, you're, you're going through some of those things in your, on a, on your own life. And then also you see it in the collective. It's upsetting you because you see it in the collective. If you're disconnected from that collective, you don't see that. You'll see something else will be going on for you. So everyone's in a different space too. And sometimes that's hard for us to understand that no one's exactly in the same space in their journey. Everyone's going to go through an evolution of consciousness. You can't not. Unless you decide to do it somewhere else, meaning you, you shed the human body and go somewhere else, go to a different reality to do it, you're going to do it here. Someone you know and you might think, oh, they're never going to expand their consciousness. They're never going to start doing some of this stuff. They will when it's their time. It's just not their time yet. When it's their time, they'll, do, they'll go through everything you went through. Everything we're all going through. It's just not time for them yet. When it's time for them, it's time for them. Now it's time for you. And you have to do what feels right to you. Because at the end of the day, you're the one responsible. People only speak fears back to us. If we know we're on the right path and we know we're doing what, what feels right to us, we know what we're doing is soul aligned, no one's really going to say anything because there's no point for them to. It's empty words. It doesn't matter because we know we're right. We know we're going in the right direction and that's really what matters. So give yourself a break. No matter what decisions you're trying to make right now, remember we're just judging ourselves. If it's judgment, it's our own judgment. Remember, nobody cares. And keep practicing the art of intuition.